Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am here with a TJ Maxx perfume haul. So I do have some other things in here that aren't perfume. The majority of it is, but I'll just go ahead and share it all with you. Um, I got some really cool, <laughs> cool things today, and I'm super, super excited to share this with you. Um, my daughter is home from school because, as you can see, I hope you can see, it's snowing outside. It's so, so beautiful. Um, yeah, you should definitely be able to see it. So I'm super excited to have that in the background. And then I went straight to TJ Maxx. It started snowing buckets and it's further north. So I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get home before I get snowed in. And then the school called and said that they were releasing school early. So I've just been running. <laughs> so I have not unboxed or smelled any of these perfumes. So I'm super excited to be doing like a true first impressions with you. Um, so I have a few, I have quite a few things here. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and here comes, here comes little one. She's going to pop in and help. I have burgundy leggings and a black shirt and I also have pink mittens and that did not match. That's okay. We're going to go build a snowman after this. So we're super excited about that. And we might vlog. Yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit of a vlog, even though I've never vlogged before, but... We'll see how it goes. It's okay. basically just a, a video. That's right. Okay, let's go ahead and start showing the perfume. Mm. So the first thing that I picked up is this... Um, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Can you stand behind me, little baby? It's okay. Or you can go get another chair. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is this uh, Judith Lieber Night Perfume. So I saw this a lot during the holidays. They had it, and um, I never, I couldn't smell it because all of the boxes were sealed. This one, however, is not, and because it's not, and I don't think there's anything wrong with this, I was able to pick this up for $8. So, which I'm so excited about because I have read some good reviews about this. I've read that it is similar to uh, YSL Black Opium. So I did open the box, just took the lid off to make sure that there was actually perfume in here and I wasn't buying an empty, empty box. And when I did, I kind of got a whiff of it. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. So, but I have not sprayed this yet. This comes in a really pretty slash tacky bottle. I Something about it speaks to me even though it's kind of like gaudy. I love this bling on here though. It is so pretty. Okay, so I don't know what the notes are in this. Um, this box is shiny. It is. Watch. It looks shiny. It does. So, um, I think this has like a coffee note in it. And like I said, I believe it's supposed to be... Um, that it's supposed to smell something like black opium. It's snowing. Um, I don't smell black opium. Right out of the gate, I smell patchouli. And I do not have a very trained nose. Like, I know there are certain notes I can pick out without, you know, knowing, but... That smells like olive, kind of. But a lot of the like more subtle or finer notes or when something's really well blended, I have a hard time picking notes out. Oh, this is... I have a feeling this one's going to change a lot through the course of wearing it. <laughs> it is heavy patchouli. It's sweet. It's like a sweet patchouli fragrance. Mmm, it's nice. Oh, this is pretty. It's got some kind of a berry in it, like maybe it might be black currant or something. Ooh, or blackberry. It almost smells like blackberry. So I would say like a blackberry, patchouli. <laughs> Very sweet. So that one is nice. Um, and if you want me to do like a full review on any of these, just let me know. I'm just going to, you know, spray them and give you some first impressions because I haven't smelled any of these either. So that was Judith Lieber Night. It did come with a body lotion, and I found that sucker for $8. That's cheap. I know. Okay. The next one I picked up is uh, this one, Prerogative, from Britney Spears. This one I grabbed for $9.99. Now, I did get on Fragrantica. 
uh, while I was in the store. Let me grab a pair of scissors here. And, um, ooh, this is going to be a hard one to get into. So, yes, I did. Here, I'll scoot over, sweet girl, so you can get in. So I did uh, look this up on Fragrantica while I was in the store. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> and this is supposed to be Britney Spears' first unisex fragrance, though many, many people said they did not feel like it was unisex. They felt like it was still too feminine for a man. Um, I'm going to lay down in the laundry box. Okay, baby. So we will see. This is another one that's supposed to have like a heavy coffee note in it. Which I really like a coffee note in fragrance. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites. These plastic boxes are so hard to get into, so I apologize that this is taking so long. Okay, I got it. Oh! Can you see my foot in the camera? No. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So yeah, I love Britney Spears fragrances. I just think that they're really fun and beautiful and they usually just make me really, really happy. So yes. Okay, so that is what the box looks like. I'm super excited to smell this one. Okay, so this is what the little bottle looks like. And this is just a 30 ml or a one ounce, as well as the last one I got is 40 ml, 1.3 ounces, the Ju Judith Lieber. So this is what the bottle looks like. Again, let's go ahead and give this a test. Don't spray it on me. <laughs> ooh. Um. Ooh, I really like this one. I knew I would though, because I love Britney Spears fragrances. Um, That's my mom. This is beautiful. This reminds me. Mmm. I don't get a ton of coffee, but this is typical Britney Spears. It's fruity, it's beautiful. Nice smell. Oh, I really like it. You want to smell, baby? Thanks. Mm hmm. I like that smell. Ah, uh, this is really, really pretty. It smells like something that I already own. It's not super, super fruity, though. It's sweet, but the sweetness is kind of, um, is mild. It's not, like, overly sweet like most of her fragrances are. It's beautiful. This is another one that I think is going to change when it dries down. I'm starting to smell the coffee in it a little bit more. And those... Oh, it's really, really pretty. So let me know. I may go ahead and do um, include these in my monthly haul video just so that I can go through the notes and things if you guys are interested. If not, just let me know and I won't include them. But um, if I did that, I, I would go ahead and write down all the notes and kind of tell you guys exactly what's in it. So that is the second one that I picked up. Okay, these next ones I am so, so excited to have found. These are um, perfumes by a brand called Cora's, which is a Greek skincare brand. Um, I have used some Cora's skincare. I love their shower gels, their body lotions. Um, I love them as a brand. A lot of the skincare doesn't work for my skin because my skin is so, so sensitive, but I really love Cora's, and it's more of like a natural... Your skin is sensitive because you're Kylie Jenner. <laughs> so, uh, I love their fragrances. I love the fragrances they use, and they're more of a kind of natural brand. So anyways, I found two fragrances by them. This one is called Amethyst Oud, and they were $6.99. I could not believe it, but this is an Eau de Parfum. It is 1.69 fluid ounces, or 50 milliliters. Um. These, this is a really, really beautiful box. So it um, comes in a box like that, and then you... Oh, it is taped, so let's see if I can... Well, let's use our scissors here. Okay. Okay, so you just slide it on out like this. 
Okay, and it comes out of its sleeve. Ooh, and then this is what the box looks like. So I have never smelled an actual perfume by Cora's, so I'm really excited to have found this. Um, the top is really cool. It looks like they're caps that they have that, um, you know, would open up, but it doesn't. It's just the cap. It's really cool. Let me see. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. This is a little gem. I can already tell. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I may do a full video on these two Cora's fragrances um, because I'm sure if I found them in my TJ Maxx and I don't even have a very good TJ Maxx that a lot of you will come across them while you're shopping. So I'll do a review of these ones for sure so that you can um, you know, see if there's something you want to, you would be interested in picking up since Cora's is not a well-known brand for perfume. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful heavy oud fragrance, but it's not like, uh, it's more of a woody oud smell than it is like a poopy oud smell. Poopy, I love poopy. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is very, very woody. This would be very, very unisex. Hmm. Definitely could be worn by a man or woman. This would be beautiful layered. You could definitely layer this with like vanilla or anything floral. Uh, really good. I don't know what else is in this. I'm suspecting there's some kind of a... Um like a dry, a more dry smelling flower. Oh, I'm sure there's bergamot in this. Oh, it's changing beautifully as it dries down. And it's, I of course have not tried this yet, but I would suspect that the way that this is smelling on the paper, that this would be a long lasting fragrance on the skin. I'm just speculating, just, it, uh, it just seems to me like this would be a long-lasting one. Oh, that's really beautiful. I will do a full video about these two fragrances because you don't come across Cora's um, perfume very often. So that is Amethyst Oud by Cora's. And then the next one I picked up is another one from Cora's, and this one is called Emerald Oud. And again, it was $6.99. So, when I saw these, I almost gasped. <laughs> I was like, oh, $7 for Cora's? And Cora's is quite pricey if you um, pick it up at like Sephora or anything like that, which I never do. I always find it at TJ Maxx because it is one of those brands that you can come across at TJ Maxx quite often. I hope you can still see the snow back there, guys. Oh, it's starting to kind of trickle off. But I'm glad that I was able to start filming before it went completely away. Okay, so Emerald Oud. Oh, what a gorgeous bottle. This is a gorgeous dark green bottle. And again with that same cap. Really, really pretty. Mmm. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is a much more traditional smelling oud. It is. Oh, it's good. I love this because neither of these fragrances are sweet. Ah, oh, this has something else in it, but of course the oud is the most prominent thing on my skin. But this seems like it has some green notes in there because Emerald Oud is a good name for it because it does seem like it's kind of a green Oud fragrance, which I have, I don't have a ton of experience with Ouds that are like, uh, that have green notes in them. Oh gosh, these were the find of a lifetime. 
These are both gorgeous. They're beautiful, woody, dry smelling, but warm oud fragrances. And definitely the amethyst oud is a more floral oud, and this one is definitely like a more green oud. I'm sorry, Charlotte, just move that chair. I'm sorry for that noise. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for that too. <laughs> she said she's sorry too. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Like I said, definitely a full video will be coming on those because those are awesome. Okay, let's move on to bag number two. And I have two more to go. The first one is, I'm so excited to have found this. This is Lo, Lo DC. So it's Izzy Miyake. Uh, this is an eau de toilette. Now, the only Izzy Miyake perfume that I have an experience with is just the original. I think it's just like Izzy Miyake, and I believe it was the eau de parfum that I remember, but I have not had one of these perfumes for so many years, but I really do enjoy them. But that one, this one I found for $10. $10 on clearance, so I am I snapped it up because I was like, oh my gosh, I know I'll like it because I love this fragrance. Oh gosh, I love Izzy Miyake. Oh good, I'm glad, baby. Oh. And I was hoping it would smell like the perfume that I remember. And it does. I love this fragrance so much. So, Izzy Miyake reminds me a lot of Calvin Klein Escape. Like, very much like Calvin Klein Escape. Ugh, but this is much, much more floral, and I love this bottle. Like, how gorgeous is that bottle? If you guys are wondering if I'm still here, I'm definitely still here, because I'm here and talking. She is here and talking. <laughs> oh, beautiful. This is much more floral than Escape, like I said, but it's, it is similar. Oh, I love it. This has just beautiful florals in it, beautiful flowers. Oh, love it so much. So that is that one. And the last fragrance that I picked up is Maya from Toka. Wait, no. And Maya from Toka. That's like and this one was $15. No. So this is just a 20 mil... Uh, travel size. Okay, so this is a beautiful box, and the notes listed on this one are uh, wild iris, black currant, patchouli heart, and oak moss. So the wild iris and the black currant uh, got me. Oh my gosh! And this is like a mini. Oh, Mom, make sure your clothes are um, appropriate for the stuff. We're gonna blow the snowman because I never built the snowman before. Okay. Never in my life. Sweet Violet Leaf. Okay. Let me still Okay, I will. Hold on. Okay, so Maya, it says, distinctive and confident. Maya exudes strength of character with a rare joining of wild iris, sweet violet leaf, and black currant. Daring is cocooned in elegance as rose, damaskina, and jasmine are wrapped with patchouli heart and oak moss, creating the ultimate expression of thoughtfulness and beauty. This is a gorgeous bottle. <gasps> it is. Oh, it's got it. that beautiful lid with the birds on it. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, baby, give me a second. Let me show everybody first. Come on, camera, please just focus. Just beautiful. It's an ombre bottle, and it's got the beautiful, like, uh, color of, like, an African violet on the top, and then it goes down to clear. It's stunning. Okay. I won't, baby. Oh, uh, so first off, I smell the patchouli. Ooh, but there's a sweetness in there. Ooh, it's patchouli, and then the black currant very quickly comes out. Uh, again, it's like a juicy black currant. It's these like a actually, blackberry black currant smell. These are actually chicken birds, because. Chicken birds. <laughs> yeah, because chickens, they don't fly very far, and these birds look like they're flying far, so... Yeah. Um, why does one of them have Oh, three this legs? is gorgeous. Look, one of them has three legs. Mm-hmm. And an, the oak moss in it. Ugh, oak moss, patchouli, and black currants is what I smell. Oh, I think this one is going to do beautiful things on my skin. It's like so ombre. 
goes to purple. That's really beautiful. I'm really excited to have picked that up for $15. I'm going to keep the little box too because I love how it opens like a book. Let me, let me get the box. Okay, and then the next few things um, are not fragrance, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Anyways, I found this really awesome um, Hello Epic Whitening Toothpaste. I buy all my tooth toothpaste, I'm sorry, from TJ Maxx because I love it. You can find brands and things that you can't find anywhere else. So that one is uh, Activated Charcoal and Such. I also found this awesome, this is my absolute favorite brand of deodorant. I've only ever seen it at TJ Maxx, and it is called Lafe's because I do use natural deodorants, okay. um, and I'm this one works okay. really, really good. So this is a CBD oil deodorant, though, so I'm super excited. It contains 50 milligrams of full-spectrum CBD oil, so really excited about that. I need to hurry, baby, because my battery's dying, so. Okay. Okay, the next thing I picked up, which I was so excited to find, is this uh, Dr. Jart uh, Pear Tiger Grass Face Moisturizer. So, I suffer from a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks, and so I've always, they're always really red right there. So, I'm always looking for something that will help kind of combat the redness and tiger grass is known for really like helping with redness this is also supposed to be ultra hydrating as well as soothing my skin has been so so dry and i use retinal products every single night mm -hmm. so my skin has started to just totally um, peel off my face mm -hmm. so i really was in need of a really good moisturizer mm -hmm. You should show what you look like without makeup on. Okay, I can do that. I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial for everybody at some point soon, so maybe then. Okay, and then the last thing that I found is this uh, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. And this is, it says, a makeup artist favorite. This Photo Ready Foundation creates a flawless canvas with a natural luminous finish. The moisturizing longwear formula blends seamlessly onto skin, hiding even hard to cover imperfections. Perfect for normal to dry skin. So I thought that would be a great option for this time of year when my skin is so, so dry. And then the last thing that I picked up, and, I, um, and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, so this is perfect, um, is this Nooni... Lip Appley Duo. So this is moisturizing Duo. apple lip mask and a tinted lip oil set. So I have seen both of these things on Ulta's website. This is a Korean skincare brand. And I have seen both of these things on Ulta's website and they're quite pricey, like $17 and $18 for them. So I am super excited that I found this duo and it was a whopping $5.99. So this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It, it's really, really pretty, and it feels really, really nice. And then this really beautiful uh, mask, which I'm guessing is like a kind of sleeping mask for your lips. And this one is clear, so it's not pink or anything. Oh, it comes with a little... Oh, well, it came with a little spatula. I'll have to go ahead and... A little spatula? Mm-hmm. Let me see. So there's the little spatula it came with. Why is this? Ooh, it smells a little bit sweet, but it's not like overwhelming. What's this spatula? What's but I bet that's really, really nice. So you don't have to goop your fingers in there. You can take it out with a spatula and spread it on that way. Spread on what? So that is the last thing that I picked up from TJ Maxx, and then um, I will go ahead and tell you what I've got on my eyes today. Today on my eyes, I am wearing Going Coconuts by ColourPop. So this is a beautiful, uh, mostly cool toned neutral palette. And I will tell you, these shimmers are like out of hand. They're so metallic and beautiful. And the mattes are so, so beautiful. So yeah, that is what I've got on my eyes today. I've been using it for the last few days and I really, really love it. 
So anyways guys, that is my TJ Maxx fragrance haul. I found some absolute gems this time. I'm really excited. I am go gonna go to the, um, I'm going to go to a TJ Maxx, a second TJ Maxx location in a different city tomorrow. So if I find any goodies there, I will definitely jump on and do a, another a part two to this haul. Uh, if you guys are out there and you come across any of these, I would definitely recommend any of them. They're beautiful if they sound like they're up your alley. Let me know if there's anything you want a full review on. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.